previously on Plan with Elise. You can expect a budgeting video from me every Friday for our weekly budget and then another video at the beginning of each month for our monthly budget and one at the end of the month to go back through and reconcile the budget to make sure that we stayed on task for what we needed to do. Well, 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 here I am on Tuesday. What is that? Four days after I'm supposed to have my next video up, as stated on the last video, and I'm just recording it today. But I'm hoping to have it uploaded today as well, but at the latest, it will definitely be up Wednesday, which is the 8th, the day before the budget is over. But we're just going to move past that. It was poor planning on my behalf. I take full blame for that uh, as I said on my last video we went out of town for the weekend back to Arkansas for my husband's birthday and I thought that I would be able to record the video Friday before we left but I did not have the time to and then I took my stuff to record it that Saturday while we were there I was supposed to wake up early in the morning and record it. I don't know why I thought that I was going to do that, but I did. And of course, that did not happen. So here we are Tuesday going over paycheck number one's budget for May 3rd through May the 9th. And we are going to work our way through this <laughs> and act like that other part did not happen. So let's just jump right into it. As you can see, I filled out the categories again and all of the stuff that's not entertaining <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and start filling out the budget so like I said in the last video also starting next month we should be able to start paying the mortgage on the first or the first week of the month even though it's not due until the 15th, we want to try to be able to start paying it on the first or close to the first. So this time we are saving up 871.52, which is half of the mortgage. And then the next check, we're going to get the other half and then pay off the mortgage for this month. And then after that, we'll be on on the roll to start paying at the beginning of the month in June. And so for our next thing is the Amex card, which was $37. My phone bill was $60.35. Capital One is $26. Our electric bill was thirty-seven twenty-one, and my husband's student loan is one twenty-one fifty-four. And since I made this video late, of course, some of this stuff is already paid. So the Amex card is already paid for thirty-seven dollars. And again, excuse the handwriting. Phone bill already paid. Capital One actually ended up getting paid more than twenty six. Paid uh eighty four sixty six to that. Then our electric bill, thirty-seven twenty-one. That actually doesn't come out till tomorrow, but might as well put it as being paid since that's how much it's gonna actually be. And then the Mohila bill, one twenty-one fifty-four. So everything stayed the same except for the Capital One bill. And so for our budgeted amount for bills this week. It came out to eleven fifty three sixty two. And 
part of that does include the 871.52, which we haven't actually paid yet, but we do have it like saved in our checking account basically. So I'm still just gonna put that as though we paid that amount. And then it'll just roll over to this side. Well, no, it's more on this side. So what was that? 84.66 minus 26 is 58.66. And I'm just going to add that to the 1153.62, which brings it to 1212.28 that we paid. 1212.28. And now for the expenses. And I promise it's not going to be like this on other videos. What I usually do on my paycheck to paycheck budgets. If you haven't seen on my main channel, I fill out what we budget for each week. And then the next week when it's paycheck number two's turn, first I go back and say what we actually spent for each category, how much we ended up spending. And this is for whether we went over or under the amount that we budgeted and the total amount that we went over or under. And then it'll go all the way down here and I have to fill in the total budgeted amount, total budget, total actual from both categories, and then how much we went over or under or if we broke even down here. And then I start paycheck number two filling out how much the budget is going to be for that week. So that's how it'll be after this video, but since this is the first one, you pretty much just see me filling this out. And since I did it late, it already has stuff filled out that was already paid. So my bad again, but you do not have to expect that in the future. I have it set up now. <laughs> and so now for the expenses, since we did already go to Arkansas, that will already have an amount that was paid but that's the only thing out of our expenses that will have an actual amount for it already and so for our groceries this week it's eighty dollars gas is thirty Tides is 108.57. Savings is 50. Eating out is 1. Oh, sorry, 10. I thought I said 100. I was like, that's not right. Entertainment is 50. Miscellaneous is also 50. And this, these two categories, I forgot to actually put on our monthly budget. I knew that something was missing and I thought that it was just because I almost forgot to do miscellaneous, but I forgot to put a line for William and me for us to have our own money every pay period. And so we get $100 a month, which breaks down to $25 per check. Except for this month, we have five checks, but we're not counting the very last check for this month since it's on the very last day of the month. It's going to count towards our budget for June. So it's still just going to be $25 for him, $25 for me. And all of this together totals out to $778.57. And for our Arkansas trip, we ended up spending $185.88. So we just made it under budget. And again, we won't have any of this filled out until Friday when you see 
the new budget for paycheck number two and we'll go through and see how much we spent in all of these categories except for Corpus Christi because we're not going there until this weekend so this is just money it's kind of like a sinking fund basically for Corpus and then we're going to get the other 150 on the next budget so that'll end up being 300 total on the next budget for Corpus Christi and on budget number three you'll see how much we actually spent out of the $300 budgeted for that trip um, but other than that everything on here should be filled in when you see our paycheck number two budget which will be out on this Friday what is that May the 10th yes that'll be out May the 10th so please come back and check for that and just in case, go ahead and hit that little bell after you subscribe so that you can get notified um, when that comes out. And again, I need to write total budgeted. Down here and add both of them together. So that's 1153.62. Fifty-seven, so that comes out to nineteen thirty-two, nineteen altogether. Write that down, and so that's our total budgeted amount for this week. Hopefully, we stay under this after we get through all of that, since we are already over on our bills. Hopefully, we can stay inside our expenses so that we can at least be equal to or under this amount for the week. But to find out whether we are gonna make that budget or not, again, definitely check back this Friday, May the 10th, so that you can see me update this budget and also fill out the information for paycheck number two's budget, which will be based on my husband's check. This one is based off of my check. But that wraps it up for this video. Thank you for listening to me ramble. I was a little nervous for some reason filming this video. Like I haven't done this several times. But thank you if you made it all the way through. If you made it, comment below just saying made it. I really appreciate that. And if you are new here, if you haven't seen the videos from my main channel or my new channel, which is this one, Plan With Elise, please go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future videos. And if you did like this video, please help me out by giving it a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. It would definitely mean a lot to me. But thank you for watching once again. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. And I will see you on Friday. Bye, y'all.